Welcome to Health Hits Experience. The anger is sort of what keeps me going. This is how change works. It's small things all gathered together. Make sure that the rest of the group knows. So I need to know that you have my back on this. Welcome to Health Hits Experience, Ooh. the yoga studio where you're required to wear plate mail. Ooh. Welcome oh. to the show. Well, I guess we got to go. <laughs> I'm your dungeon master, Brittany Lee. Welcome to the game. Before we get started, a couple announcements to make. Uh, if you didn't know this already, there's a new episode of my podcast. Uh, Cult Classics has a new episode out today called Skeleton Riders. Um, we release one episode every month, and this is the month for it. So we're back. We're doing more episodes. It's dumb. So listen to it. That's the point. <laughs> That's the whole point of the whole episode. Um, also... I'm starting this now because I think I didn't do it preemptively enough last time. So, not next week, but the week after, we will be joined by a fun group of special guests for uh, that week and the week after that. Uh, we're going to be having a very special two-shot. I'm not even going to say who they are. You're only going to see one regular cast member on stream for the 20th and 27th. Uh, so be sure to tune in for that. And also, you're going to have to behave in the chat. You're going to have to behave. It's yeah, very important. Calm down, guys. Uh, it's, Relax. It's, everybody be chill. Um, be cool, so guys. <laughs> we're going to be cool. Um, but it's very important that you know this and also that you know that our regular cast won't be there for those two uh, particular streams. So I'm very excited uh, to see what we do. It will be in universe but not in the campaign timeline Ooh. i'm pretty sure so we'll see Ooh. what kind of comes about it'll be super fun that and exciting interesting yes sure. i'm very excited it, it'll be fun um and that's unless anybody else has anything else to say that's it yeah no, nothing Okay. Oh, also, uh, the link to the Cult Classics episode you can find on linktr.ee slash news. Uh, we haven't plugged that one in a minute. Um, typically, if we have any announcements, we'll put them in there, aside from the two-shot, which is just please remember. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's the same time that our show always yeah, is. Yeah. Correct. So it's not like you got to change your schedule. No, you don't have anything. to change your schedule. We'll just your expectations. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Raise them. <laughs> and <laughs> show up. That would be great. Thanks. Okay, bye. <laughs> um, all right, so let's uh, let's get some ambiance. It's already raining, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is raining. I will Second say, week in a row. every time we comment on rain, nobody else can hear it. So no, we, no, that's fine. We could just say it, and it could be false, and no one would know. It's just kind of like being under the ocean. Only less. Only, <laughs> only not, less. Not as, as drowning. Or an awful lot more. <laughs> <laughs> or okay. could be more. Um, all right. So before I, before I get started, who wants to... I'll do another token. Who wants to recap um, what we're doing, where we're at? Sure, okay. I will. All right. Um, so last session, we, we broke into the underwater secret prison. Um, by knocking out via Flex's nice little gas bomb all of the actual <laughs> guards. We got in without any issues. We snuck past everyone without any issues. We went to the <laughs> security <laughs> center without any issues. Yeah, it was weird. Um, it was like un uncharacteristically un yeah, weird. Yeah, uncharacteristically. Y'all rolled very good. I don't think anyone rolled under like a 14. <laughs> the whole time. And then we opened up the um, shipment bay for the other pirates to get in without any issue. Mm -hmm. I think that's where we left off. We were talking yes. about potentially going and dealing with some scientists. Correct. Who are also there. Who are dealing also with. there. <laughs> dealing with. <laughs> Anybody else want to do air quotes? <laughs> okay, great. There you are. Okay. 
Well, that's where we left off last time. Um, somewhere else in the galaxy, uh -oh. a citizen turns on their local broadcast. They aren't quite paying attention at first. Every day the broadcasts are the same old fluff pieces. Except today. Today we see a young adult Nomulan, light blue skin, soft features, pointed ears, and salmon colored hair, addressing the camera directly. She speaks in soft tones. You trust her. She tells the viewers at home not to be afraid, but that the revolution has begun. Forces have occupied the capital city of Olagos, a deeply loyalist planet. She tells you information that has been uncovered, that Zalarian agents took it upon themselves to eliminate pirates from the group, the Red Talons, who were looking to right the wrongs done to them. Furthermore, documentation has been discovered that Zalarian Authority has been applying fraudulent debt to individuals they deem a risk. She reaches out a hand to you, and for a moment, you aren't viewing a broadcast. She tells you that the revolution supports pirates, that although they are brash and outrageous, they are the canary in the coal mine. Pirates don't just disappear, they're taken. And if the Zalarians can choose who they believe is doing wrong and there's no one to challenge them, you might be next. We find ourselves now in the delivery bay. That's where we left ourselves off. We didn't see that, right? No, we're no. under the ocean. We couldn't have even gotten the, nope. the no. signal. <laughs> no, nope. you're under the ocean. <laughs> and, like, and it's somewhere thing, else in work. the galaxy. Yep. Um, so we're in the delivery bay here, and we're just kind of exiting out. Um, the quiet of the lab, of the facility, excuse me, is making y'all very nervous as far as I understand. Um, it hums around you. You're heading towards the lab, as far as I understand? We are. Uh, making we your way back. So. We still have to spring the uh, people who are imprisoned, right? The decision was made that the Red Talons were going to do it themselves. Yeah, but we want to get Cat Lady. We do, do want to get Cat Lady. The captain. True. Okay. Captain, <laughs> Captain Cat Lady. Captain Cat Lady. Captain Great. Sorry, everyone yeah. else. Uh, I only refer to her as Cat Lady. Okay. Do, do we still have that map somewhere? Yes. Yeah, so let me. It should be in, in your handouts. handouts. She will be top. so grateful when she sees uh. all the dates we set her up on with on Tinder. She's like, well, oh, finally, I'm up. What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I did change her um, bio to say something along the lines of like, I like stinky farts. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was very bad. It so. was your Discord status. <laughs> Squink bink the lovable dink. Great. That's what that was? <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. no. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know if she actually got any dates or not. We'll okay, see. let me, <laughs> let me ask. It'll just be Brad. Uh, cause <laughs> I was under the impression that you were heading off to the lab. Well, so the thing is, I think we can all generally agree that if we're doing anything here, we want to get rid of the only other opposition that might get right. in our way. Yes. I mean, yeah. we definitely need to go to the lab. Like, at some point, we got to deal with the scientists, but we also have to get the captain of the plasma fangs out. Why don't we do the lab first? Okay. And then do everything else after there's literally nobody else here. Cool, sure. cool, cool. That way, in case there is any way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, think, I think it's a safe bet. Great. Sounds good. Okay. So we're headed towards the lab. Uh, Pearl holds the facility, the physical facility map in her hands. Last time you said you wanted oh, yeah, to rip it off ripped, the wall. Rip I ripped it, the wall. it right off the wall, yeah. just holding you it. You have like it in your hands here. All four hands. <laughs> it's not that big. <laughs> but you can hold it that big if you want. Rip the paper a little bit. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> you all get one map. Pearl, we only have one fourth of the map. <laughs> now that you ensures have to that we... work as a team. <laughs> Okay, so we are heading um, towards the lab. So as a reminder, if you, as you look at the map here, um, the delivery bay uh, is the farthest end of the hallway that you had gone towards and you had passed, you had ducked your head into the security room the last time. Yep. Um, so on the other way back, there's a lot of other things you can pass, um, including the security room again, the guard barracks. Um, oh yeah, did we go in the guard barracks last time or no? No. Oh. Yeah, like because it was before or the after the security Yeah, room? the security room came first. Yeah, so they, we popped in there and then I think we ended so up ending. I feel like we should probably at least look. There might be various weaponry lying around we could use. I mean, we could. It's worth a look. 
I mean, we, like, could, we could also get rid of the scientist first. On the map, so. so literally, it's literally right next there. door. Yes. Yeah. We, we we'll leave the fine. room and it's right there. Yeah, like literally just like. Yeah, it's not like we have a, uh, a past history of getting distracted by big piles of loot when we have a mission. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, here's the thing. If it was any other mission, you're right. We have four days. And quite frankly, those pearls are what bought us those French presses. So, <laughs> so true. That is That is fair. <laughs> Maybe think about that next time you want to give me shit about my loot. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Pearl, that new face makes you sassy. Uh, I don't remember installing no, okay, that Okay, all right. No, <laughs> in, in, in character or out of character, no in between. I'm putting my foot down. And I'm getting sick of this. All right, guard back. Let's go. Great. Investigate. Great. I'm so good at that. Oh, wait, Hold I on. have advantage on these. Let me pull up Let's stuff. investigate things. Sure. Because uh, I literally never remember what my modifier oh, is. Oh, yeah. I'm really good at this. Uh, 22. <clears throat> okay. Um, 15. It's like kind of my whole 22. thing. 22. 22. <laughs> yeah. Heck, yeah. Hieronymus is out in the hallway tapping his foot. <laughs> like, oh. He's like, oh, my God. Great. <laughs> um, it's guard barracks. Right. There's beds, so, um, but there's no there's no personalization. There's really nothing except for a small chest at the end of each bed that would ha would hold like clothing, um, regular clothing, because most of the um, kind of personal items were in the locker room when you first came through. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. kicking open this chest though. Yeah, great. <laughs> like they, literally. Not... Yeah, I'm just, see if it opens. Bow, bow. <laughs> it opens. <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking there, around. There's casually. some striped pajamas in the ones that you find. Hmm. Amazing. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Just looking through it, think if, if I could <laughs> throw it out in the hallway. Uh, Pearl, the pillows are stuffed with feathers. They're okay. real soft. So this was a complete waste of time, then, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> <laughs> through your clothes that you have over your tummy? No, I'm just going to put it in my jacket oh, so okay. my arms sit <laughs> like this. Make a hunchback situation? Uh, what? No, it's you're just a little off-center now. Weird. <laughs> right. Uh, we should. I don't think there's anything here. We should probably keep moving. Cool. You. Uh, no, you know what? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, so it turns out there was nothing in there. Sort of thought maybe there'd be like some personal belongings or something like that. Right. Uh, no. In fact, there's nothing. Cyrus, uh, you find a corner piece of one of the trunks has fallen off, and it's shiny. Taking it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I forget there's a name for them on the like corner of, of things. It's the metal thing. It's the metal bit. Yeah. Metal bit. Um, anyways. The correct term is trinket. <laughs> trinket. Yep. Yes, yeah. correct. <laughs> right, well, I wanted uh, to give Cyrus a trinket. Probably best we uh, keep moving then. Uh, according to the map we have, as I'm looking over Pearl's shoulder, uh, looks like research quarters are the first thing that's going to come up on our right. So. Are you passing by um, the security and the locker rooms without going back in? Because those are two that you've been in before. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, we're just walking past them. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ignoring the ones that we just came out of. <laughs> Got it. Yep. Okay. So if we stick to the right wall around the curve, we should keep walking along it, and a, a door should show up, mm -hmm. hopefully. There should be a door also right across the hallway from that, which we are going to not go in, uh, because we'll probably get shot with laser beams. Which would be bad. Okay. So. Valid. Well, actually, didn't we shut those down when we were in the security room? No, I specifically did not because I'd have to figure out the power elsewhere and I didn't know where mm. I'd want to do that with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That was the that was the conversation we had last time. Yeah. Um, okay. So are we heading into the quarters or the lab? I feel like we want to go in the research quarters first. Let me, let me just... Uh, clarify too that's um, like this it's the same setup as the guard barracks it's just where they are sleep right oh. but there might be some hanging out in there that we need okay. to know if they're there okay well, well we saw, we looked on the cameras and they were all kind of working in their lab right so like no oh, we we know for a fact they're all in I, there i thought we did didn't we when we were when we were scanning the security cameras and the we thing like check. just yeah. 15 minutes ago right. it's really hard <laughs> pretending to be other people i can't remember anything <laughs> okay, so let's let's talk about this really quick before we keep going um so we could do everything around where they are to try to sort of get a lay of the land try to figure out if there's anything else we should be knowing before we go in there or we could just go in there and figure it out which seems a little more direct, which is why I was suggesting the other places first. It's up to you. We got time. 
Sure, sure. Let's go rifle through their bunks. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can find some uh, polka dot pajamas to go with the stripes. You know, I don't need your sauce right now. <laughs> Call it out. Right now, we're kind of in the middle of something. So if you want to maybe get professional. Oh. <laughs> Gotta keep walking down the hall. <laughs> okay. Um, please don't PVP before things happen. Um, He's just angry. It's fine. just come out in the hallway. We're all dead. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Build ourselves. Carl's like, ah. Okay. Um, so we're going inside the quarters where the researchers sleep. Right. Y yes? Okay. Yep. Cool. Yep. Trying to see if anyone's hanging out in there or if perhaps they have personal belongings they left behind because mm -hmm. they're maybe in and out kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, go ahead and roll me another investigation. All right. Can you use the big and the small one this time because that's more fun? <laughs> mm, fun doesn't mean good. Uh, 16. <laughs> okay. That's not bad. Anybody else looking? Uh, what are we looking? Just are, we are you looking around yeah. the place where the nerds sleep? I like loot. Losers. 17. Okay. You, Cyrus? No? Okay. Um, it's slightly more comfortable than the barracks. You can tell that these individuals aren't military grade. They contractors, essentially. Right. But no, like, personal journals? There is one that is not filled out. Like, mm. Thought, thought about it and just didn't. It's like under the pillow, but yeah. not used. Yeah, no not chest used. to kick open. Well, uh, yes. There are chests yes, to kick open. Yes, you can kick open it, and when you kick them open, there are more clothing options than the the guards are there, had. Are there polka dotted PJs? Are there polka dotted PJs? <laughs> No. Damn. Oh. That was a nat one. I imagine there's like other lab coats and slacks. Yeah, and there's like a of some polos and some button ups and there's uh one horn room glasses with tape. One pair of shoes that's like um they're like orange. We gonna shove these guys in a locker or something. <laughs> we we got should. lockers back there. That'd be easier. <laughs> oh man. Just a bunch of bullies. Right, so uh, I was sort of hoping to find some sort of personal belongings. Uh, it doesn't look like there is any, so uh, we could go right to the lab. We could also skirt around and go to the uh, medical suite first. Magical suite? Medical. A medical. Medical well, suite. Well, that's less interesting. No, it's actually possibly more interesting, depending on what's going on. What do you think's going on in there? Most likely prisoner experimentation. Food for thought. Sure. Not necessarily wrong. Hmm. So, let's go check out the medical suite first, yeah? Are you sure you want to go in there? Of course I want to go in there. I want to know what the fuck they're doing. And, of course, if it's something bad, we should probably stop it, right? Sure. Yep. Sure, absolutely. Right, so we're all on the same page? Mm -hmm. Great. Let's go check it out. Okay. So you pass by, so I, we're coming out and around. Yeah, we're going back into the hallway and then going around the labs. Okay. Um, as you pass by the door that enters into the lab, um, you see a very large on th handwritten note next to the door for the lab that says, no spell casting with smaller handwriting at the bottom that says equipment is sensitive. Um, and then the next door is we just says medical suite. Hmm? We can blow it up. <laughs> Out of character. All <laughs> uh, right. So uh, probably best we start with the medical suite because yeah. currently we have a bunch of magic things on us. <laughs> um, okay. So you pop your heads into the medical suite. Every roll me perception or investigation, depending on if you're touching stuff. 22. I'm, I'm walking and touching stuff, but it's still it's bad. One. It's like a 12. It's a one. Cyrus, 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 did you go in? Did you go, did you go in at all? Cyrus, Missed the door. Cyrus, did you, do you know the door where the door is? <laughs> and he's like, no. No. Nope. No. Just heads down a different hallway. <laughs> I'm like, leaving. Oh, uh, 20 perception. Oh, okay. All right. Um, so what did you roll again? Uh, 12. 12, okay. Yeah. I think some of this is familiar a little bit to you, Flux, but it's medical equipment. It's but not. But there's nobody like, in here, right? There's nobody in there. Okay, yeah. Um, 
Pearl mm -hmm. and Hieronymus, you see a very sterile environment, fully equipped to treat a wide range of injuries and illnesses. Mm -hmm. um, and there is notably a fabrication unit to quickly reproduce or produce replacement limbs and organs. Oh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Flux, this seems like something up your alley. Huh? Oh, I honestly don't know how I missed that. I was sort of looking at this other stuff. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go over towards that direction. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Looking it over, is it like synthetic in that it works exactly the same? It's not like cybernetic. Um, a little bit, a little bit of both. Um, the the organ situation is like three D printed organ, like right. from organic material. So um, it's kind of more of like a, it's like that Star Trek food maker, but for limbs. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. What? With the limbs specifically, they they have to put in some kind of cybernetic base for the bones. Like right. it doesn't have anything that can. But, but it's that kind way. of like a cloning, kind of like growth thing, where it like um, grows the a little bit organic matter around. Okay, uh, it's combination of that and like a three D printer kind of together. That's it's certainly like more organic than your stuff, but still not super yeah. organic. Yeah, it's correct. Definitely interesting. I don't work a lot with living matter. Uh, I more tend to work with cybernetics. Although this actually looks really useful. You never know when you might need a replacement organ. You could put a fleshy outer body on your crab. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I can't even imagine there. what that would look Ooh. like. I know. Ooh, I hate that. I don't like it very much. Ugh, but what way. you could do is, um, out of character, print organs and then sell them on the black market. That sounds pretty you cool. You make a lot of money doing that. Now you're thinking like a pirate. <laughs> well, I, I, was, I was about to ask if you Robin could. Robin is thing, not Pearl. Is this thing like, in, like is it like part of How the structure? Big is or it? Can, you be, can it be moved? Um... If you had three people, you could move it. That's not going to fit on us up. So, <laughs> just thinking. <laughs> oh, my God. We don't have time for this. this no, no, no. Why for, we're for, here. For, for later. Just, just food for thought. Uh, this would be so useful to have. It, we could add it to the medical bay of our own, and uh, that would be really, really handy. Just saying. You lose a lot of blood, or you lose an organ or something, you can use this thing. I can just do healing word a bunch of times. Yeah, but I mean, don't you like run out eventually? <laughs> we can go out, go to sleep for eight hours. <laughs> right, lost your arm, go to bed. It's fine. Right, well, there's some now, things. Now we're dunking on D and D. There's some things that don't come back after eight hours of sleep. Uh, like know, my you know. pride. <laughs> well, you can't grow that in the lab. Uh, but right, well, it's just things to think about. Things to think about, all right. Yeah, but is there anything like around this place that suggests there's experimentation going on? Is or is it just like? Where stuff is stored, kind of thing. You're not gonna notice this, I think, because you were very preoccupied with your 12. Mm -hmm. um, 22, <clears throat> 20. You notice a very small um, window peeking into the lab itself. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And like it's peekies. give. It's got a weird reflection on it, so it might be some kind of two-way or, or you know, holographic or something. Mm -hmm. um, that is not important. The important so, thing so is... So we can see into the lab, but we think they might not be able yes. to see out? Yes, okay. correct. Hmm. So if okay. you want to do so that. So my mirror kind of thing. Can kind of. But in space. But in space. Yeah, so it's like a <coughs> one-way space mirror. I'm kind of thinking of the way that the front door is, where it's like the printed, mm -hmm. like but you, you can't uh, see right. in it. Okay. But like, so it's not technically like a one-way mirror. But okay. Okay. mirror. I want to yeah. do a peek. Yeah, do a peek. Oh, Boise. Wow. Oh, geez. What we set up the alarms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You know what? I need, we need to, I need to transition to a different set. So let's do that. Uh, do a peek, uh, do a perception check Let me for see me. What do a peek is. check. Do a peek check. Peek check. Peek check, peek check please. Peek perception. It has very peak? similar roll for shuffle vibes. But this time. Oh, I hated it. It's just perception. Then. That was a four. Pearl, you don't see shit. I don't see a goddamn thing. It's like when you have uh, UV sunglasses on and you look at a digital screen and you can't see anything. Uh, <laughs> push your face right up against the glass. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Just like <laughs> clunk against the <laughs> fucking glass. Like what? You didn't roll a one, so I won't. I won't make you make a. Not noise. gonna give away our position. Yeah, right. Anybody else? Or Hieronymus, you rolled a twenty. So sure, we'll take a look. Take a look, see. Look at you, look, look. Do 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 do. Oh, is this our That's musical? It's big honk and fourteeno. Okay, um, you you peek in 
and you see rings of desks covered in scientific and arcane equipment, handwritten logs, and some simple terminals scattered around. In the center of the room, you see a figure strapped to a table hooked up to intense monitoring, and there are four devices positioned around the table pointed at the figure, and that's all you see. Do, we rec do I recognize who the figure is? Does it With your 14, no. Okay. With your 14, you can kind of barely even see what they look like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was going to ask if you know what he lives there. he has. <laughs> What? We should probably get in there. Right, probably. Just in case it's um, the Red Talons captain mm -hmm. or if it's the captain of the plasma fangs, Didn't which are the only two people we really are trying Didn't to get out hear of here. Didn't we hear he like, lost some limbs or something? I have no idea. Mm. I mean, the, there's a, I mean, maybe they're printing out things for him. Uh, it's go. really optimistic. <laughs> uh, so we are, are still you all? So are you all uh, ready to go um, into the lab or anything? Are you done investigating? I think it's probably a good idea. We probably should. But we need to have We are still all dressed as guards. We need to have a reason for going in, is what they, I'm Well, they Do did. We? Yeah, well, if, if four guards walk into the lab suddenly, it's a little confusing. It's a little suspicious. Just tell them we saw something on the cameras. Yeah, yeah. Why would like, they think we'd go to them? Because we're the guards. So we go take care of the problem. It's in the lab. <laughs> oh, that's what you're saying. <laughs> did we even have cameras in the lab? Yes, there oh, was one okay. camera in the lab that that's how you could tell they were in there. Hmm. Just checking everything's okay here because uh, we were monitoring the security and there was a glitch on the camera. Anything you need to report here? That's a good one. Thanks. Let's go. Like you do the talking. All right. I mean, that's what the captain's for, right? Wait, when do we decide you're the captain? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't agree with that. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going out, around, and back in? Yeah. Yep. I think it makes the most sense. It'd be a little weird if we showed up from the medical suite. We're like, hey, we were not doing anything weird. <laughs> we weren't doing anything definitely weird not in here. Creeps. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm actually going to stay outside the door. I'm a little worried because I have a magical effect up. I'm a little worried something's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to stand right outside. Why don't you stay in the medical lab and then if stuff goes sideways, you can come in unexpectedly from there. Right. That's not a bad idea, actually. All right. Sounds good. All right. Pearl will go All in right. the lab. She doesn't have anything going on. Okay. All right, cool. No thoughts behind these eyes. <laughs> Cyrus is going to 100% go in the lab. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm going to stay sort of watching from the side. Going to look through that window. So yeah. Like, okay. Well, hopefully you can see better than me. Yeah. Roll of preemptive perception. Oh, Yay, fuck. I'm so good at these. Four. <laughs> oh, gosh. That... Here we go, guys. <laughs> everything from last session coming back. I can see shapes, roughly. Yes, yes roughly. You can see there's a window. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, that's definitely something that should be see-through. It's okay. Yeah. If something happens, it'll probably be pretty loud. Yeah, it's yes. going to be explosions. You also do have your communication devices. Yeah. True. Mm -hmm. Very true. Right. right. Let's okay. do this thing. All right. So So we approach the lab, mm -hmm. and is there like some kind of a door slidey thing or anything? Yeah, you have your ID cards yeah, yeah. on them, so <laughs> it lets you in. You're not really having any kind of uh, issues there. But as you enter in, one of the scientists kind of was like, hey, hey, you don't have clearance to be in here. Certified technicians only. Hey, hey, hey. Then why did my card work? <laughs> <laughs> Out of character. <laughs> I'm feeling sassy today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's the written clearance. It's not the, the Yeah, the uh, We have to clearance. have, we, like, as guards, we have to be able to get in every place, but that doesn't mean we're just mm -hmm. allowed to allowed go in Allowed to be there. in there. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, okay. So I deal with sassy players all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you got to teach me some things. All right. Uh, okay, cool. So they, they, one, of the, one of the scientists is like, you know, stops whatever they're doing and kind sure. of like puts their hand out towards you. Oh, uh, we, just, uh, we, we just wanted to check on things. There was a little bit of a glitch with the security cameras up there, and uh, we wanted to make sure everything's okay in here. Nothing uh, weird going on. Roll me a charisma. Or, or whatever you think is your best Deception, bet. probably. Deception. Oh, yeah. Because you are, in fact, lying. <laughs> you are, Doing in a fact, a filthy little liar. <laughs> Doing a bit of bullshittery. I only got a 28 on that deception check. Only. only a 28. Damn. You could have gotten a 30. I know. <laughs> uh, let me reboot. Uh, <laughs> the 28 is what is really getting me. <laughs> Um, okay, the, the scientist, like, you can, you watch a wave of panic go across their face because, Ooh. like, you don't, they, 
nothing should be going glitching in right. the lab in the situation. And you can see them look at certain pieces of equipment um, as you say this. And um, they basically like look at all this equipment and then we're like, well, it's all good. You know, there's nothing here that should be causing camera malfunctions. All right. Well, do you mind if I just go take a quick look at the camera and check to make sure like the wiring's not coming loose or something like that? Because, uh, you know, we got to be able to monitor what's happening. They, they certainly they lead you to it, um, but they also hover. Sure. And as they're leading us to it, uh, you know, just side eye glance and kind of what's going on here. Yeah. Uh, as much as I can sort of take in without sure. being obvious that I'm trying yeah. to take things in. Do you want us to roll perception again? Or? No, I think you're close enough to see what's going on. There's no unless you put your hand over your eyes. There's no way you would not see what's happening here. Um, so. There's, there is an individual um, strapped to the table. They're uh, broad-shouldered, but seem to be malnourished, covered in flaky green scales. There's a, a series of jagged teeth, um, and one of their arms ends in a massive claw uh, at the very end. Like a crab Did, claw? Um, just a claw. Did the Red Talons tell just us one. what their captain looks like? I believe so. I believe that was part of the the deal. Is that what he looks like? Out of, out of game, no. Okay. But in game, I don't know what you remember, so you will have to tell me. <laughs> oh, I don't remember shit. That's why I was asking. <laughs> yeah. Roll me a history. Who? Oh, yeah, I feel like God. they told us okay. that he got kidnapped and like limbs removed, sliced and diced. Yeah. yeah. And that's about what we learned. I don't feel like we yeah. learned much more. Eighteen. Uh, yeah. You. Uh, remember what Captain Scar Yalta looks like. Um, uh, Captain Yalta's feathered, not scaled, mm. and mm. is missing three limbs. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> nice. Um, I had nothing to do with that. Mm, None of us did. Nope. Then uh, what I would like to do, if I can get this stupid thing. But yeah, so that's kind of what you see, like as you're passing the, the, the table, because the table's in the center of the room. It's got big um, observation lights over top of it, uh, aside from the four devices that are at the end of the table. Actually, um, Cyrus looked through those uh, hologram things earlier. So yeah. would mm -hmm. we know who this guy is? No. He wasn't on the holograms? Not on the holograms. And you you were oh. picking up the, there was four kind of like right, I'm, I'm picturing the the file, plastic file holders you see on the sides of walls and like offices. It was like sticking out. Yeah, there was four of them kind of there. And that's what you grabbed. Hmm. Um, okay, then I am going to, uh, so we have one, the one person that met us at the door has taken us over to where the security camera yes. facility things are. The others are all off sciencing elsewhere in the lab. Yes, yeah, they're, they're kind of scattered throughout the lab. Actually, while we're, while we're in the lab, we might as well be in the lab. Okay. Um, let, me, let me throw the folks in who are in so that we can kind of see what's going on. So feel free to move yourself around. I'm going to say, so the um, entrance is here. Oop, will it let me ping? That would be great. OK, entrance is here. Okay. So and then the I believe that means that the medical suite would be over here. So Flux will put you kind of over on this side here. OK. Well, yes, there we go. And then the camera will say is in this spot right here. And I'll actually draw a little, we'll draw a little boop, 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 boop. There's your camera. Nice. This is, this what is, is what this? I, uh, what that guy? Oh, that's a, uh, that's a perception check. Okay. <laughs> that's a perception check is what that is. <laughs> <laughs> looks a little lasery. Yeah, it looks a little bit like a laser. I rolled a seven. <laughs> nothing, there's nothing there. A perception check. Sure. Don't worry about it. Don't it's worry fine. about it. We don't it's know there's hot. anything there. That's a 17 plus, so. What we need to do is convince one of them to leave the room and then kill him and then take his place. Uh, huh? Um, That's a 21 for perception. Ooh, looking around at everything. Yeah, you're looking around at everything. Um, you, Cyrus. Yes. You're in a military base. Yes. Like, you recognize an auto defense when you see one. Yeah. But they're not powered on. Okay. They're just there. 
like those cameras at the convenience stores that aren't really <laughs> okay <laughs> not not to that point but they're not on they're not on um and they are around the room um and that's that's that all right um can pearl go up to this guy that's closest here actually does it look like one of these scientists are like the head honcho or no um oh good question are um, they just all are the little tuning forks the scientists yeah all right the, yes yes correct i thought they were just weird wrenches yes yeah. Yeah, they're sentient weird wrenches. Oh. All of them uh, got weird googly wrenches. eyes on them. Okay. Oh, on both sides or just on one? No, it's like the way it's split. There's like. Burp. Oh, okay, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're the one that said it. <laughs> You're making me look bad. Um, <laughs> anyways. Anyways, yeah. Uh, ooh, that's a good question. I think. How would you? How would you intuit that? What would you be? Just see if um, any of their like what they're wearing so like if one of them mm. has like a different kind of uh, badge or if like there's some kind of a patch on yeah. their coats like something that would identify them as um higher clearance level or something yeah. what do they all look like oh one's I'm, wearing like a nicer hat I'm, yeah i'm <laughs> one being has informed, a top hat i'm being informed that i've misinterpreted the map uh -oh. which uh -oh. is which is always fun to hear it's always nice to get a ping from your yeah, other DM. Yeah, to, to get a ping like, from the writer. Hey, you're wrong. I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, it, it's not like I didn't get a chance to look at this map at all. Um, it's okay. It's just flipped. It's just, it is just flipped. Um, no, no worries. Because okay. so. I'm stupid. Um, uh, so there will be another perception or investigation if you want to, like, really look hard. That is the third four in a row I've rolled. <laughs> that dice goes in jail. Oh, we don't Man, have the dice. It was a jail. different we do dice. Not have the I dice wish I was jail. in there so I could I don't like, know where give it went. guidances or something. But I'm I mean, I have my one chip, but I'm like, I, is it? It's not that important. It's not that important. Um, the I will say th this for free. They all look the same. Okay. Like their their styling is all the same, and then I'm just gonna go to the closest one. Okay. And okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to cast Suggestion. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> We're in a room that said no casting. Let's see what it does. All right. It's fine. It's fine. fine. It's fine. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. OK. Sorry, nothing, nothing, nothing All right. Or I can just not do it. Nope. You no, already do did it. it. Do we, it. We're it's not saying it. this I haven't game. clicked it. <laughs> nope, do it. Do, do it. it. You Are committed. we just going to do it? Card lead is card Commit played. Commit to the bit. <laughs> OK. Commit. Um, Blow it up. <laughs> room explodes. Okay. Everyone dies. Roll me a charisma. Check or saving throw? Ooh. Saving throw. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, boy. I have a one. Mm, that's not good. No. Which one of you is going to fuck me today? <laughs> Twenty. So. It's pretty good. <laughs> Is that a nap? Dirty. Filthy. You go up to a scientist. How does? Tell me what this looks like. Uh, suggestion. What the whole action that you go through looks like? What do you? What are the steps that you take to get here? Do you? go up and just start talking to them? Yeah. Does your hand glow? Like what So this happens? is not the one that's taken us over to the security camera. You've kind of gone off to one yeah, of the no, other guys? Yeah, no, this is a different one. Okay, so so we're, so the rest of us are up by the security camera, dude, right? Is that? It's a down now, though, down right? Now. It's oh, down. Yes, we flipped 180 degrees. <laughs> the camera. Yes, yeah, sorry, I'm so sorry. I, I want to honor the... <laughs> a filmmaker violating the 180 degree rule. You should be ashamed. Have maybe. you met me? <laughs> there are no Cyrus, rules. Cyrus is going to stay like oh, over here a bit. He's mm -hmm. going to stay. Okay. This is, room is huge. Okay, so yeah. Pearl's going to go up to this scientist here. Um, and it's just, it's just like talking. Mm -hmm. It's like maybe, maybe there's like a pulse of glow in the glow she already has in her face, but it's just like, you know... Maybe, maybe you guys should clear the room so that we can thoroughly search it just in case. It might be dangerous. Mm -hmm. 
Um, as you do this, the scientist you're talking to agrees with you. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. They uh, nod and, and um, think a little bit about how they want to clear the room. Um, and the scientist that you can see kind of like past them, mm-hmm. they look at you, they turn around and they press a button that is on their desk. And as they do this, Fuck. a you, from, from the turrets in the walls, they power on a wave woof, woof, of dark purple energy covers the whole room. Man, even with a 20? Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> it was not a 20 DC, I'll tell you that. Um, so you feel it. Every sp- Bellcaster in the room feels it. You feel heavy. Something is like you're moving through molasses a little bit. Um, there's been an anti-magic field activated. Um, I'm going to tell you how this works. Any spells or other magical effects are suppressed in the room and can't protrude into it. A slot, ex- a slot expended to cast a support Suppressed spell is consumed. While an effect is suppressed, it doesn't function, but the time it spends suppressed counts against its duration. Mm-hmm. The properties and powers of magic items are also suppressed within the room. Cool. So. The fuck would that do to Cyrus? Yeah, that's a, I, I feel like you're going to explode or something. <laughs> yeah, um, your magic is well, your magic is keeping you from exploding, but also you explode because you're magic, yes. right? <laughs> So, maybe it so what would happen is, as this goes over, um, Cyrus always has a bit of a shimmer um, to him, and he always has that orange, like, shimmering glow to him. That goes away. Uh, what happens is the scars around his eyes become very much more intense green-blue, mm. and you can see a few from under his sleeves as well. Um, but he doesn't look glowing anymore. He looks a little bit worn and a little bit kind of scalier than usual. He um, looks like an old man. I'm, I'm immediately, because it got darker in there, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, what the fuck? So I'm immediately and grabbing my little communicator and being like, what the fuck is happening in there? Cyrus is immediately going to pull out his flail. Is there? You're just going to bust out a weapon? Wait, wait, does, yeah. it, does it go through? Through the communicators are are they they're magic right? Are they magic? I think they are. I think they're magic, yeah. I think most of our tech is at least partially magic. Yeah, yeah. I mean I'll say it's it's probably magic. Probably magic, yeah. Um, it crackles like you can it's it's like in and out. You can hear bits of it. It's not a it's not a hiss, but it's just like a disconnect sound. Oh, oh could he get like a really loud feedback in his ear? That's for later. <laughs> oh. Um. oh no 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 no. <laughs> Right. Um, okay, that's really bad. Uh, uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna start going back out to the hallway because I want to go out there. Because if anybody's leaving, it's probably through that door. Mm-hmm. So I'm going back out in the hallway, and I'm just like <laughs> grabbing the rifle, like fuck. Yeah. Um, and I'm searching through my bag because right now I'm looking at the three bombs that I have, and I'm like, mm. <laughs> Hieronymus is going to turn to whoever was showing him the things. What the heck was that? What's going on? Is there something weird going on in here? Uh, <laughs> hey! Um, as you're saying this, Cyrus is pulling out a weapon. He's just, it, it doesn't have the flail part activated yet, so it just looks like a pull right now, but okay. definitely has just it stick. out. Okay. All right, so you're preparing. Great. Yeah. <laughs> um, the scientist does a lot, mm, uh, you know, I don't know what's going on, um, but like inches away from you a little bit uh, to go towards their fellow scientists um, who seem very concerned about the figure on the table. Um, oh. They're kind of all migrating towards that. Uh, towards the figure? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and that is where we're at now. Who is doing anything? The door is open, right? Mm-hmm. To the lab? Mm-hmm. Right, okay. I'm gonna kind of like I creep wouldn't... up to the edge of the door, like, what the fuck? I yeah, wouldn't yeah. suggest uh, like, you step in at all. Your I, whole body. I, yeah, I, like... I don't know that. <laughs> That's the problem. Um, I'm looking around the corner to see if anybody, like, what the fuck is happening. Sure. Um, you notice that there's just a 
very strong purple glow throughout the whole room. You can kind of see the the energy uh, flicker throughout the room. Um, would we've you be familiar this, with something like this? We've seen so, this before. Anti-magic? <laughs> Anti-magic. At the bar we burned down, didn't we? Not anti-magic. No. What was it? There was, like a, there was like a charm haze. Yeah. That's different. So I'm going to say, uh, as a player, I'm aware that anti-magic is an eighth level spell, mm -hmm. which Flux will never have access to. Um, I know to spell magic, and that's probably the highest it's ever going to get. So probably not, unless there was one of these fields on the rock, which is up to you. Yeah, so no. No okay. idea. I'm going to assume it's some kind of weird, like, poison cloud <laughs> or, like, necrotic death cloud, and yeah. I'm just, like, waiting, like, yeah. Okay. I know it's bad. I don't know why. What else are we doing? Hieronymus is going into full, uh, you know, guard mode. You know, yeah. what's what's happening here? What's going on? You know. Um, you're saying this, and <clears throat> this is actually making things worse, um, because you should be knowing what's going on. You should be aware of this. This mm -hmm. is like the the measures that they have specifically in this area for a lot of reasons. Um, and he just happened would, to not be looking when it happened. He's like, wow, why, why is it being activated? Yeah. 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 Why, why, are the, why, is, why is this being activated? Uh, yeah, good question. Um, so the, the scientist you're next to doesn't know because okay. they're, they're not the ones that activated it. Um, and the, another one uh, activates a different button as you're kind of talking about Man, this. These motherfuckers got all sorts of buttons. They got a lot of buttons in here. So... What's the second button? Can I get the general gist <laughs> that the scientists are clearly getting into like a defensive position? Is yes. that the idea? Yes. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, you guys clearly have no idea what the fuck you're doing. Cyrus has his weapon until, ready. So, until someone pulls a weapon, I won't have you roll in this shit. They're pressing a button. Uh, roll me perception to see if you see it. 10? No, it's out of your line of sight. I'm gonna have to wait. How about the rest of us? I don't us? know enough yeah. about the circumstance. Can we also I'm, roll I can't perception? go in there. Roll. Sure. This will say this one. Fuck, that's a three. Jesus. Oops. 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 We got oops, eight. Oops. Okay. No. No. None of you see. None of you see the scientist who presses this button. Sorry. Right, I'm gonna put up one here. This is the one that's by Hieronymus, roughly. Um, and they're all trying to creep closer to the, except for the one you've you've uh, suggested. That one is attempting to clear the lab, but is getting opposition from the other scientists. Oh, so he, my suggestion been... still worked, even though mm -hmm. wouldn't the field have killed it? A little bit, but like is still now. Now they're also scared. <laughs> they're just they're just straight up scared. Um, if the scientists are going to approach Hieronymus, Cyrus is going to approach this. They're they're okay. trying they're to going, get to the guy in the center. They're gotcha. going towards the center. Yeah. Um, okay. I want to also move towards the center. Yeah, can I at least tell that that's happening? Yeah, like every yeah everybody. Yeah, you just didn't see a button being move pressed. Towards right. the center. Yeah, everybody. Okay. So, okay. I guess Clearly that's what, what we're supposed to be doing is moving towards the center. What, what I'm trying to ask <laughs> is, does it seem like, from any sort of general gist I'm getting of the room, that the scientists are being like moving away from the guards because they're freaked out by them? Is that the gist I'm getting? Mm -hmm. I'm throwing yeah. an EMP grenade in there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Then we could be like, ah, there was something happening. Get him. And then. Because <laughs> I know there's a lot of tech and I know it's going to freak him out. Uh -huh. I try to throw it on the other side of the room from Pearl. Well, yeah. Oh, that's true, actually. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. I'm going to take that back. I'm aware Pearl's a robot. Wait, what's the uh, range for one of those? I think it's like a 20 foot radius. Oh, well, that's not that bad. Well, yeah, but you're in there and I know yeah, you're in but... there and I don't know where you're going to move. So I don't want to do that. Let's that's see. a very good point. Flux would think of that. <laughs> I forgot because there's a lot happening and I'm scared. <laughs> well, I guess the question is too: How far can you throw? And you're also moving towards it, so yeah, no. We also not, moving not towards that. it. Um, so it seems like there's oh, definitely. Sorry, you would be. Yeah, you'd be on that side. Yeah, so it seems like there's some kind of opposition going on mm -hmm. here, um, and so I'm. You guys are all moving towards the middle, like all of you. Wait, so did that guy push the second button yet? We don't know. You we don't know it. that the but second uh, button was pushed. I know. It just like 
Yes. Did something happen? So, um, nothing that you can see. Because the first one did all this shit. Yeah. And so I was like, what did the second one do? <laughs> um, so I think I'm gonna kind of like tap on the door frame and just be like, so what's going on in there, everybody? <laughs> You're gonna like look around the corner. Got really dark all of a sudden. Um, are you talking to the the? I'm scientist? talking to the room. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is happening. Okay. Uh, roll a charisma check for me. <laughs> just because I just want to see if the scientists care. I think it's an eleven. Scientists don't answer. Um, in fact, they uh, we're, they're, we're doing this thing, you know, when you're like chasing someone around a table. Yeah, that's yeah. what's happening between them and, and these guys, because you're going closer to Fuck. the center of the room, and they're trying to like get away from you, but also be close <laughs> to the Fox center. Is watching us do some I'm, Tom I've and been, Jerry I've been yeah. trying so hard to be like, I'm gonna stay out of this, but I don't think there's any reason why Flux wouldn't walk into the room. You walking in? Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Because I don't know what's going on. Oh fuck. And nobody's telling me. Yeah. Well, okay. Before we, before, before we do that, does anybody say anything? The scientists don't say anything. Oh. Do you, um, you three have an opportunity to answer Flux before he walks? I'm literally in. stepping through the door. It uh, looks like there's some sort of anti-magic field that was activated because of something going on in here. I would recommend staying out until we know what's going on. Go with them the back foot. <laughs> literally like an inch away. <laughs> Right. So maybe head to the security room and uh, make sure things are still okay out there. Right. Yep. Gonna do that. Gonna just start running down the hallway. Okay. So are we splitting the party? Um. I was told to go to the security room. There's no fighting happening. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, like, if, like, say, if a bunch of turrets come on, it'd be nice to be in a position where you could maybe shut them down. <laughs> Or, or shut down this or field. Or control them. Something. Or shut down Anything. the field. <laughs> You're the tech but guy. But not walk into the, the room thing. and explode. Yeah. <laughs> it There's already one person who will do that. So. <laughs> okay. Great. Good. Love um, this for us. Okay. <laughs> the scientists are being super weird. They're not like fighting. They're just like. They're scientists. Yeah. They're, so, um, well, yeah, but yeah. like. Brittany's third eye keeps staring at me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm walking down the hall to the security room to try to deactivate this shit because I don't know what it is. Okay. I mean, I do actually, but I'm deactivating it. All right. <laughs> we all die. <laughs> no, I'm 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 trying to figure out what happens first. Oh crap! <laughs> because <laughs> you're not fighting. Not yet. Nope. nope. So I've got to I've got to reorient myself a little bit, which is fine. In fact, probably preferred, because um, we all know how good I am at combat. So <laughs> fine at combat. I could be better. Um, okay. So who's around the center individual? Yes, there's. Uh, I'm not right on top of them, but I'm like head in that okay. way. So we're looking at this guy in the center. Yeah. Cyrus okay. definitely would, yeah. Okay. The scientists have been trying to avoid everybody while also trying to get this something happening in the center. Um, and as they're, they're trying, like they're not able to quite reach what they're trying to reach because you guys keep approaching them. And ah. so they're, 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 they're trying to do a little bit of everything here. Um, and you see on the table a weird fluctuation on like like a hologram on this person here. Um, weird? It's weird. It looks weird. It looks weird. Um, and something shakes um not not physically shakes just kind of like visually shakes um on top of this uh being here and that you you see their their face change like you weren't really looking before but like you can kind of notice that like 
something looks weird. Their eyes look wrong and um, they don't look like they did when you first saw them. And the scientists are all panicking as this is happening here. And they are trying to reach the four machines on the corners of the table here. And... Are they talking to one another or are they dead They're silent? just like yelling like at each other. Oh, you know, kind so of they are saying things. Yeah, the, the panicked way that you do when something hits the fan, right? Like mm. just you're yelling things that nobody's responding to and you're all trying to do the same thing. Too many cooks kind of really Too quickly. Many yes, thank you. <laughs> and I'm right. sure it's all scientific techno jargon. Yes, it's all very yeah. jargony. It's all right. very like goes over your head. But like when they activated the anti-magic field, did some of the machines also shut down? Mm -hmm. Is the machine they're working on shut down? So they're yeah. stupid. <laughs> they're panicked. And panicked people make Do mistakes. Stupid things. Yep. Yep. So uh, Hieronymus is going to say to the one nearest him, he's going to actually pull out his little guard baton and say, all right, tell us what's going on right now so we can fix this. Mm -hmm. You know, still playing in the guard thing, you know? Uh-huh. Um, as you say this, the mechanical straps on the figure on the table pop off. And are you? <laughs> that you hear them. You hear click, 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 click. Man, we're doing great. <laughs> and the that weird scaly creature leaps up. Oh. Leaps up. I didn't expect Fuck. the malnourished guy to be so spry. Uh, it's an experiment. <laughs> creature thing. Uh -huh. yep. <laughs> um, and now I'm going to have you roll initiative. Fuck. Uh, Good lord. Hey, Flux, how's the... Uh... Oh, God. <laughs> 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 Six. Cyrus is horrified. Uh, Cyrus, three. Flux, I, I feel the need to say that I'll, I called these guys stupid. I'm not saying this whole thing is stupid. I'm saying that I'm freaking out. <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out what's going on and why. Uh -huh. I'm like, it. why would I they do any of this? I got an eight. Eight. Wow, y'all rolled very low. I'm literally not even there. I do have a negative one. 17. Okay. Oh, great. All right, so. Fuck. It's fine. Okay, so. It's fine. We're gonna go, we're gonna do regular initiative here. I'm not gonna popcorn it. Mm. So. Oh, that's nice. Because y'all seem to hate that. Um, no. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with popcorning. I feel like it just is always weighted in our favor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's more of you than there are of me. Do you want to throw it to your friend or get stabbed in the head? Well, <laughs> listen, it's all about narrative. I know you know how to do a good narrative. Okay, so Hieronymus Pearl, guy on the table, Flux. Flux Cyrus. That's our order of operations here. Guy on the table. Guy so on it's, the it's, table. So it's Got. Do the. No, his uh, name is Uldav. His name is Got. Because Guy on the table abbreviated. Uldav. We don't know that. Uh, when he changed uh, into this new shape, does now he remember resemble one of the things that was on one of the Cyrus's? Uh, no, it's not a. It's not a physical change. It's like a like you like his eyes kind of turn oh, okay. into like a weird milky color and, gotcha. and okay. you know like he was being suppressed on the table and now he's no longer being yes. artificially weakened yes. and suppressed cool. and now he's in full combat stats and ready to tear people Great. apart with Fantastic. that big claw. It was about time we spiced it up a little. Kind of. Not like a crab claw. Sure, sure. That's what it appears to be, sure. Um, <laughs> sure. How around was you like first? appendage there. You're first. I'm first. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Yes. Well, <laughs> thankfully, so. none of my awesome uh, bard skills will work. So, uh, thank God. <laughs> yes, there is was, a magic suppression I was gonna field right I, now. I'll viciously mock someone, but I'll just hurt their feelings, not cause actual <laughs> psychic damage. <laughs> Hey, yeah. nice claw you got there, pal. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um, oh, my God. Hieronymus is going to, uh, uh, the scientist that's right near him, he is going to uh, attempt to uh, push that guy towards big claw guy. Okay. Oh, I forgot Meat about shield. <laughs> the scientists need a roll, too. Um, they'll just be bottom of the order because I'm stupid. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, so... Are you just doing push? Uh, Do you push? Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. he's just going to try to... First, well, he's going to move to interpose that person between him and, I'm assuming, this big hexagon yes, here with the correct. X through it. Is the, yes. He's going to move this way to interpose uh, himself between it, and then he's going to attempt to kind of uh, shove that guy right at a big, scary 
Okay. Claw monster fella. Yeah, roll me strength, I think, is uh, the best option. Sure. Unless you want to do something different. Uh, I geez. will. I, if you can convince me, I will take it. Yeah. Gosh, oh golly. Gosh, uh, oh golly, against strength? <laughs> golly gosh. Golly gosh? Strength. Well, these are scientists. They can't be that strong. Uh -huh. We just have to assume they're wimpy. Uh -huh. Yeah, all scientists oh, are God. weak. Um, <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Did you roll something? What did I miss? <laughs> An 18. <laughs> oh, God. Adrenaline. <laughs> or are you doing This one works out. Uh... <laughs> this one works out. He's uh, a hot scientist. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Uh, got a, he's, he's I got jacked. a 13, so. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the guy stumbles, but isn't, like, thrown directly into sure. the That's crazy okay. guy. Sure. That's still between me and the yeah, for sure. spooky dude. For sure. Um, okay. Hieronymus Pearl, what are we doing? Now, did did I see the first guy push the button that did the anti-magic field? I don't think any of us um, saw him. Yes, because he was like right past Operate. your field of vision. So I like watched him do it. But you watched you perform magic, which is why it I mean, happened. he assumed. You did not beat the DC, so he knew. Um, like, oh, magic, bad. I want to... It fucks with their equipment. No, it makes a ton of sense. The second that shit happens, you'd be like, oh, God. Yeah, but then yeah. he did the thing that really fucked up their equipment. Yeah, it, it, yeah but I think that there's a there's a balance they're trying to reach. Um, I wanted... Maybe there's Illyrians. Illyrians don't think things. No, they're pretty stupid. Yeah. That's why they do horrifying experiments. That's why there's yeah. a revolution going on, apparently. Apparently. I want to go over that. to the button and try pushing it again. <laughs> See if it'll turn it off. Honestly, smart decision, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Lockdown rescinded. <laughs> Does it work? <laughs> um, you need to. I think you need to roll um, like a like a sleight of hand. Okay. Because it's, not intelligence. No, or... it's a physical button, and it... this is a very difficult button. Well, <laughs> to get it to come, to get it to do the reverse, it is, it, okay. it's like a bop it. <laughs> yeah, it's already pushed down. You got to get bop the thing it. back up yeah, now. It's you got to wedge something it's in like, there. Yeah. Or you got to like press the right combination around it. There's Ten more buttons. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> their, their control panel is a whack-a-mole game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 16. Um, you... Press it. Yes. Um, the you hear the uh, warbling of the turrets cease. There's still a field, but you can see it mm -hmm. start to mm -hmm. trickle a little bit. So, question: the the turrets they didn't shoot anything. They just like were like hoses that just activated like suppression gas. Yes. Well, it, yeah. It's a, a it's field. a field. It's like an electro field. Right. right. Like but even gas. though we called them turrets, they're not turrets. Yeah. They are turrets. Okay, I'm just. I, Flux doesn't know anything. Yeah. I'm trying to get a clear idea. They haven't done anything yet. Okay, so I mean, maybe they're, they have like an underbarrel that does anti magic. <laughs> um, okay, so yes, so you've deactivated it, but there's still an anti magic field. Okay. I assume that's my turn. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, so the. Big old crazy guy um, is going to swing very wildly. Whew. And swing swamming. Swinging a shrunk. Um, and I've got to try to do this against my own self. So this is Ooh. this is super fun. Well the engineer is in the way. I'm 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 legitimately not going to say that, oh, he gets around it. Um yeah, but this guy's way too lame for that. Unfortunately, the uh, scientist has a higher AC than 13. So damn, that guy's dodgy. Um, Good for yeah, him. Yeah, does does a cool. He works like, out. It's he like works a out. A yeah, dog. yeah. Um, but our uh, friend here can do multiple dam multi multi damage. Multiple 13s. Multiple 13s. Yeah, seriously. Um, but does a wild swing. AC higher than 13. Yeah. Eight. Cyrus? Cyrus? Is it? Yes. Cyrus. Okay, great. Um, I didn't like that look. Are you yeah, sure? Yeah. Wait, wait, is it? Low. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, he, I, he No, hit. it still is. It matches it then. Yeah, if it meets it, yeah, so it's, that's hit. fine. <laughs> meets um, it beats. Meets it beats. And Cyrus is a little you. squishier right now. Yeah, it's feeling a little squishy. Um, and we'll do in one more. 
Ooh, Boise. Okay. Uh, and ends up taking a, a swing at the scientist who is still in the way. Um, again, because he does a he does a circle. This wild swinging with this big claw takes a you, a circle. At this did, rate, did we Cyrus won't have take to kill damage. Him. Cyrus, didn't, you meet you. No, met no, no, no. It works. 13. You're attacking, so you so have you to. Met, oh, so you met, so Cyrus. Yeah, so you you hit. hurt him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. All right, Cyrus. Sorry, buddy. Take some damage. Damage. Oh, boy. Um, you can take the top one, the six and ten. You know, at this rate, um, we're not going to have to kill any of the scientists because this guy's going to do it. We just need to lock the door. Yeah, really. <laughs> we just got to get out and lock the door. You got to get out and lock the door. That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got to figure out. Oh, oh no. Is this... there, are they electric doors? They're like you push a button and like, it like closes? Yes. Okay, sweet. I probably this is going to be door. Flux's next arc of leaving behind all of his comrades. <laughs> I'm looking at the camera. I'm like, mm, is it worth keeping the door open? Oh god, yeah. Fuck, you're in. Some, you're somewhere else. Um. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. You sorry, just Pearl. Made this sorry, case. Cyrus. But Hieronymus you has to it. stay. Yeah. <laughs> you guys both get out, and I'm like, yep. All right. <laughs> Looks like everybody important got out. <laughs> so, oh jeez, the the. Um, so the, the crazy figure that's now unleashed, um, <coughs> does not seem to have any kind of, um, ability to recognize people or process Wrong any two. of that. Takes, takes three big swings in a circle. One, two, three. And on the third swing manages to catch this engineer right across the chest up into the neck. And the engineer drops. And easy one down. <laughs> is that the one right in front of me? Is that my? Oh, that was my shield. That, ah, was, your that shield. was your meat shield. That was your meat shield. Um, and you watch just how fast that goes. Just so Ooh, fast. Good call. Um, <laughs> um. All right. That's that's uh their turn. Flux, you're in the control room. What do we do? God help oh, us. Oh, I was really fast. Awesome. <laughs> yes, Please. I will let you be in the control I, room. I was doing the thing where I was like skidding down the hall and my tentacles were like swinging me around. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. So Tokyo I'm, drift. Yeah. <laughs> but the floor's really well waxed. Uh, yeah, so I'm in the control room. Uh -huh. um, I'm quickly like looking at the camera trying to figure out which one's the right one. I yeah. find the lab one really quick. Mm -hmm. um, so what I'm going to do is um, I have a place to reroute power to <laughs> if I want to. Um, can I figure out a way to control these turrets from this room? There, these are security systems, yes? So can I disable them? <coughs> the turrets are already off. Uh, or control them. The the anti-magic field is off. No, you specifically said the turrets are off, but the anti-magic field was the still on. The turrets activated when the button got pressed. Yeah, it's it's the the continuation of the of the anti-magic field. The the way it was outputting it is off. So does that mean? that pretty soon we can use magic again or yeah, I, I hope so there will be there will be a point where I'll tell you the field is completely I out. swear to god you said that the turrets were off but the anti magic field was still going yeah uh, it's dissipating right now okay it's like a fog I was cloud. like am yeah. i in no no, no we're just like a cloud. we're saying the same thing but in different okay. ways yeah so firstly i'm not there anyways is there a way i can figure out how to control these things from here the oh. turrets themselves the turrets. um yeah because basically i don't know there's turrets I barely even knew there was anti-magic. I'm just trying to see if there's like a security system set. I'm like, all right, there's gotta be something on this like set of switches, right? right? Yeah, um, do, yeah, uh, are you trying to find the thing? Or are you just trying to- I don't think I would know where it is. Okay, so you're just trying to disable anything. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, all the much. thing. Everything but, just But if, if there's a chance to control it, then I would like to control it so that I can cause the turrets to shoot the fuck out of that creature. That being said, I think I just became aware that that creature existed. So that's also something new <laughs> to take in. Yeah, because you like, see from the uh, camera angle really high, you can kind of see the whole lab. It's, it's, why are they still there? <laughs> <laughs> it's in a weird black and white kind of footage. Super grainy, yeah, like it's, really low frame rate. I'm is. like, that's so much worse. Yeah. yeah. The found footage part of the show. Yeah, it really is. Um, so yeah, so I'm trying to see if there's any way to uh, disable security systems, mm -hmm. which, because I think as far as Flux is aware, he believes that the anti-magic is part of the security system. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, okay, I need to shut this whole thing off, probably. 
Yes, uh, DC 15. Okay. Or Arcana. Ooh, Arcana, okay. That's Sorry. what I was gonna ask. I think I'm good at those. I should be. I literally work with that shit all the time. Uh, 25. Yeah, um... Okay, you... Disable everything. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does all that the oxygen mean? starts dissipating. <laughs> yeah. It's a good no, thing we don't um, need it. Any, any and oh all kind of um, major security functions are now disabled. Even the, just the ones in there? Everything. Oh. Did you shut down the whole the damn place? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought I couldn't do that without rerouting. Um, you rolled a 25. I'm like, how did I miss this lever before? <laughs> it was literally right yeah. there. It's One break giant glass in case red lever just... It's <laughs> actually, you, what you needed to do was go in and change the settings to reroute what function that lever does. It doesn't uh, normally do that. Um, I'm like, oh, shoot. Yeah. Which, if you would have rolled earlier, that would have rerouted the power. Now, here's a question. Right. Yes. If because everything is shut off, yes. is it one of those shutoffs where it's like uh, all the prisons are open now and... <laughs> I assumed it was all security systems. Well, the only one who would know is the guy who's looking at the cameras watching the prison doors swing open. <laughs> As I watch all the cameras flick off and I'm like, oh God. <laughs> oh, fuck. No. So all security systems are down. All security systems are down. That big um, system in the cell block that was monitoring them is down but the cells are still locked. Okay. Oh, that's they're, good. They're, yeah, they're still there. It's just good, the, good, like, good. if something were to happen, that would have taken over and basically, like, shot them, essentially, in the cell block specifically. Right. That's that's powered down. And then as a quick, I don't know if I have enough time for this. You can tell me if I don't. But I'm also just trying to figure Six out if, the, if I can manually control the doors or not from here. <laughs> for the... For opening and closing the doors for the lab. Oh, for the lab. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, oh, is there like a, is there like a, what's, what would it even be called? Like connected control of some sort? Yeah, good question. What is the word for that? Why can't I remember it? I don't know. Remote? Remote, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, the, within the time frame that you have, you cannot. Okay, that's fine. That. Yeah. I'll spend my next turn looking at that. Really Great. Quick, Okay, so that's Flux's turn, Cyrus. Um, I'm like, yet. I'm gonna put myself in the far left corner. Magic on yet? No. Uh, no. Damn. What you need to do is you need to breathe all the gas out of the room first. Oh yeah. <laughs> you need to eat it really fast, and then you then you'll be good. Put a put a swamp fan on. Okay. There is I think it's gone. Definitely a crack starting to form at the corner of Cyrus's eye there. That looks green and glowing. It's fine. Ruh -ruh. Um, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Meet that clown. <laughs> uh, Cyrus is gonna try to tackle the creature. He Get him! Like, please tell me you're raging first. No. <laughs> I just failed. He's like, oh. Wait, you can fail to rage? In this situation. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, yikes. Okay. Can Shit. Normal rage, I guess, but otherwise it's fine. Yeah, I, th I mean, I know there's, but. I just thought you could like get angry. <laughs> get angry? Yeah, I'm angry, but uh, yeah. Anyway, okay. okay. Um, what do I tackle. need to do? I don't know. Oh, are you you're trying to tackle him? To are you trying to pin him, or are you trying oh, to knock him over? Trying to knock him off the table so he doesn't have the high ground. So you're trying to knock him prone. Yeah. I have the high ground. Uh, if you're trying to do that, it would be a contested check. So okay. athletics versus his athletics or acrobatics. Mm -hmm. Keep hitting my mic because. Moving a lot. Sorry. Nice. <laughs> Let's make Britty deal with the grappling rules. Oh, yeah. That's no. why I'm bringing Fuck. it up. So you just have to compose check. Oh, God. He rolled a 26. You have advantage if you're raging. Yeah. I but he's not. Well, he's just angry. He's not <laughs> angry. Yeah, no. It wouldn't have mattered regardless. He's not. That was a close to like tackle when I'm wrapping got a around nat his legs. 20. He's not moving, and he's like... He is way bigger than you. <laughs> you, as wow. you wrap your uh, your hands around his legs, you see that weird rippling effect you saw earlier, like, close up. Like, you're looking at it now, and it's like... Ugh. it It's coming... It's like there's a... There's like a ghost image of this being kind of coming out and then sinking back in. So it, it looks like a hologram. Yeah. But you can tell that it's not. Okay. It's some kind of, it's, it's, it 
feels a little prickly, like a like a static electricity on your. I was gonna say um, seltzer water. Yeah, <laughs> it feels like spicy. Some okay. Water. Um, oh, she's going to look no, at Ron nice and like <laughs> get out now. Does he literally like, yo? <laughs> let's get that. Just, like, out get out now. <laughs> okay. Um, that's Cyrus's it's turn. Fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's Everything fine. Awesome. It's fine. Where is my thing that I would like to press? Okay. Um. No, Brady's oh. pushing buttons. No, I'm not. Carl's pushing buttons. No, I'm not. Because you buttons. disabled shit. Um. Rolling really low. <laughs> I. What am I doing? What was disabled? Everything. Ev oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I the lights, I did that. the coffee maker. <laughs> the coffee maker is part of the defense system. <laughs> yes, you gotta keep those guards awake. It's, it's on the we same. We have intruders activate the coffee machine. <laughs> it's on the same power. It's gonna strip. be a long night. It's on the same power strip as everything else. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have anywhere else to plug loop. it in. Uh, it's like Christmas lights. The coffee yeah. machine turns off and all the turns like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. God. Oh, Amazing. No. Um, well, hey, if you can't do anything, you're just allowed to skip. Well, there's one right next to Pearl. So we're going to give it a go. Hit me, bitch. Wait, did the, uh, <laughs> are, is Out this, of character. Did, 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 the sci did the scientists know it's down? Because they might still try. Um, well, oh, they can't boy. do anything. It was an automatic defense system that you powered off, so uh, they weren't going to I do anything. I thought they were going to keep hitting buttons. Uh, well, they could certainly give it a try. Um, well, hmm. Well, I like how we again managed to royally fuck whatever plan you had. <laughs> no, no, well, there was a loose plan. Um, we did it. But Good job team. I I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Sorry, you're dying. By the way, no, it's fine. <laughs> Um, I mean, in this situation, he couldn't technically explode because the magic is imploding on him. So, look at know. the bright side. <laughs> it's okay. It'll probably be gone soon. Hey, you know what? Flux could have walked in there, too. Very true. Um, I would have just died instantly. Yeah. <laughs> Does a 24 hit your on AC, on it, Pearl? It literally the operates fuck? my heart. <laughs> Did you just ask me? <laughs> Did you just have the fucking gall to ask me if a 24 <laughs> hits? I want you to know that I ask the wizard in the Hold game on. I play if 30 hits regularly. <laughs> and he's on. always like, no. <laughs> Why? Yes, a 24 hits. Scientists find us more problematic right now. Uh, so oh, the, the scientist pushes out a hand just to push you away, and a jolt of electricity goes That's through magic. it. That's magic. Mm-hmm. And as they do this, you take five lightning damages. Okay. Damages. 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 And you watch or feel, actually, I think everybody in the room feels, it's like a, like a menthos, mint, just uh, the Hell field yeah. dissipates and you feel, you feel something go out and then swoop back into your bodies. Um, so nice. the the uh, magic field is now the anti magic field. Excuse me, is now dissipated. Cyrus, what does that mean? What does that mean? Cyrus, do you explode? No, uh, I don't think he would explode, but I definitely think there would be a force of energy that would ripple out from him directly. Sure. And are you? Um, because <laughs> that was a three on controlling any sort of thing. That would be. Well, good oh. thing he's holding on to that big monster. Yeah, dude. good thing he's ruled on that big thing yeah. monster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cyrus has become a bomb. Cyrus has become a bomb. I mean, and Cyrus Hieronymus and I are on the other side of it, so. Yeah. Uh, could be worse. Could be worse. Could be better. <laughs> could be a lot better. Um, and, I mean, the good thing is he would actually, um, not only does it ripple out from him, but the ground starts rumbling around him as well and starts shifting around him, and now everything around him is difficult terrain. Okay. Cyrus. You're going to um, cause the from whole fucking thing to feet. burst. <laughs> 15 We are feet. under the ocean, Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> Literally no control over it. That three says there is no control on that. Oh, my rate. God. Wait, so is it a 15-foot radius? It's a 15-foot radius. That's really big. 15 oh foot from me. The force, what does that do? 
the force would so probably like that, push yeah. like oh, everyone Jesus. away from him. Mm-hmm. But hey, we're not in the radius. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, okay. Oh, there's flux. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're somewhere else. I don't know how much damage that would hit to Cyrus, but he can take it now. <laughs> Come, now. Coming out and coming back? Is that what you're saying? Or what's the... Just like blasting out. That much magic blasting out yeah. would be... Okay. Um, 12. Okay, well, it's half to six. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Um, but uh, that damage is also taken by the big old guy. Cool. Nice. So he's like on death's door, right? <laughs> With that first hit, of course. <laughs> he's bloodied, at least. <laughs> um, yes. Okay. So that green crack does not go away, by the way, around by, by his eyes. <laughs> Good to know. Oh, boy. Okay. So back of top of the order here after that fun thing happened. Hieronymus, what are you doing? Uh, so, with the way that the thing is oriented now, looking at the screen, the medical bay is back to the right? Yes. Alright, cool. Hieronymus is going to book over towards uh, Pearl. Two, three, four, five. And is going to say... Uh, that cool lightning dinosaur thing uh, on Big Nasty and is going to uh, give you the ability to help. Uh, is going to give Did uh, we help. tell them that we th- that yeah. happened? Okay. They just didn't believe us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, right, because they've never seen it. <laughs> we didn't see any remains of space dinosaur. Yeah, so uh, yeah. So uh, using his, uh, his ability uh, as a bonus action, I can uh, give uh, help help action so you would have advantage uh, on your next attack against that big honking dude. Uh, And then uh, Hieronymus is going to, uh, now that the magic is back, uh, is going to cast... uh Oh, let's do that stupid dissonant whispers thing that never works. That cool spell that I love having. Yeah. It'll work this time. At the big nasty dude. The power of friendship. Yeah. What do I have to do? So it's a wisdom save 15 for the big thing that I'm hoping doesn't Oh, a lot. That's that's an 11. (laughs) Hey, the power of friendship. (laughs) Okay. It happened eventually. We just had to care about each other. All right. So it takes 3d6 psychic damage. Do you roll or I roll? Uh, I I can roll with this. Okay. Yeah. I think you. It already. Didn't it already do the damage? You oh, it did. did. Uh, oh, it did. Okay. Oh. So you did 11. Yeah, you so 11 rolled. psychic damage, 11. yeah. And it has to... Uh, yes. uh, it must immediately use its reaction if available to move as far as its speed allows away from me. The creature doesn't move on to obviously dangerous ground such as fire or a pit. On a successful save, it takes half as much as it. Um, so yeah, so it... Uh, but that whole area around him is difficult terrain. It's and I'm also holding though. on to his legs. <laughs> But yeah, so he has to try to move away. He can't move all that far. No, he's yeah. going to be like. But he has to burn his reaction trying to move. So, yeah. which is yeah. great. Cool, cool, yeah, great. So it, yeah. yeah. So there'd be like no opportunity attack if Cyrus True. decided to book out. Yeah, of you room. could also let go. Yeah. And just let him go. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> Probably <laughs> would do that. Are you? Actually. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. So yeah. So. Get out! Get out of this place! It hurt while you're doing it. Yep. <laughs> Okay. Spooky hands. Yeah. Spooky hands. Um, <laughs> as you do this, um, the creature recognizes somehow, even though it wasn't registering anything else before, um, takes several steps um, away, and as basically everything powers kind of back on in this lab, the devices around the the table reactivate and <laughs> we can Cyrus and the monsters come Cyrus gets grabbed and, God, and no. they reactivate and you watch the the shape of this creature come come out like come off in a weird hol- it looks like a hologram yeah. and it shimmers for a minute and then it goes back into their body and their eyes turn back into what you can only assume was their normal eyes for their race, um, and they collapse on the floor. 
Oh. What happened to the hologram thing? It. It's not a hologram. I'm trying to think of a way to explain it. That's it like why I said sh- big. Sh- yeah. Sh- the, the yeah, it shimmers away from their body and it got absorbed back into their body. And then he just drops. Dropped on the ground. Oh, I didn't even get to lock the scientists in with them. Hope you were monster. watching that, Flux. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> Activates turrets. <laughs> Sure, sure, sure. What's PvP? All right. What's your AC? What's your AC? Um, all right. We're out of combat now. Um, so I, are you guys still leaving the room as fast as possible? Because I'm still trying to lock the door. <laughs> uh, you should probably tell us that then. Uh, well, I, we didn't want this, I didn't want the scientists to also escape. Mm-hmm. So yeah, our comms are working now. Yeah, your yeah, comms, comms are working, are working now. now. Right. Uh, I did see the dark cloud go away. Yeah, you watched it. The, the camera, the way that it looked on the security camera looks clearer now. There's nothing that seems to be obscuring so any vision. What, what I will ask is, do I see a remote way to lock the doors? Yes. Okay. Then I'm going to go over the comms and be like, uh, leave the room now. I'm going to lock the doors behind you. Right? Scoot. Skedaddle. Scoot-de-doo. Skedaddle. Skedaddle. Sorry, just waiting a little bit longer so he doesn't trip anyone else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, with your rocky ground around you. Yeah. Right, okay. So as they leave, uh, I assume the scientists can't get out fast enough, or can't they? Are you stopping them? <laughs> I don't want them to get out. That's well, can you shut down like all doors but one that we're closest to? Uh, Probably, I, if you'll let me, Brittany. So out of character, real quick, you know what would be really convenient is... Um, well, I know what my plan seven. is. The spot... <laughs> No. The, no. <laughs> the spot that Cyrus's big old boom went was right by the spooky table with the spooky guy that's now dropped Solid to the floor. Point. We could just kill the scientists and leave them in here until it looks like that this guy did everything. That's literally what I'm about to do. Just get out. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Flux okay. has a plan, apparently. <laughs> okay. <Come on laughs> Hate promise. that. But okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, then we'll just get the fuck out. Okay, get out of here. Everyone skip down. Um, All right, this is good. We can lock the scientists in the room while we do what we take care of, and we don't have to worry about them getting out and coming after us. So this is good. So <laughs> as you leave the room, I'm locking the door so they can't get out. Um, I'm going to hit a few keys, and I'm going to reactivate that anti-magic field if I can. Can I drop the rage, too, while they leave? <laughs> while we leave? Uh, yeah, so nope. the doors are locked. The anti-magic field activates, which should cause that creature to wake back up and go rage mode. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, uh, and mm-hmm. they're all locked in there with it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I'm just going to do that and just kind of <clears throat> sit back in the chair for a little while, watch on the cameras. <laughs> now, here's a question. <clears throat> How strong are these doors? Because <laughs> can that thing break Oh, out? I'm watching the cameras. So if some shit goes wrong, I can disable it, hopefully. The doors themselves are fairly robust. The idea, there's another set of security doors that you haven't activated. If you would like, you're welcome to. Um, That would basically (laughs) be the lockdown of this is prisoner escape lockdown. This is water breach lockdown. This is Mm. what we can do to make sure. We don't do that until we get the prisoners out. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I'm I'm not activating like an alarm system, but I might be able to at least hack into the doors so I can get that second layer activated. How much longer do we have until the Red Talons get here? Because we did a specific, like, time. Mm-hmm. So what time is it? You still have, like, like, a little while, right? I have no idea. I don't I don't remember. We only <laughs> took, like, 20 minutes going oh, down the hall. Oh, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. I need a different, <laughs> I need a different dice, because I think I said 14 last time. Like, 14 so. minutes? 14 minutes the last time I said yeah. it. And then, yeah. okay. So there's eight minutes okay. left. So we still got some time. We yeah, just gotta, yeah. Let's go search some more bedrooms. Just go grab the prisoners and have a great <laughs> night. Mm-hmm. Um... Flux, can you roll me an investigation? Mm. Well, the first one was bad, but the second one is a 26. Okay. So you're watching the security cameras. You're watching everything. Very proud of your work. And on a different, there's a, there's a bunch of screens, a lot of screens. And you see an alert, a silent alert, but alert nonetheless that... Dino 3 has been activated and a threat has been eliminated. That's all it says. <gasps> hmm. It should have been disabled from the. Hmm. I'm gonna. It's an old alert. Yeah. It was from before you, disac- you disabled all the security. 
Hmm. It's just been flashing. Is there, there any more while. detail than that, or just that? Um, there's a playback of footage from the dino that's just, it's really bad. Well, it's really dark. It's dark, it's grainy, there's just a dark shape under the water. Um, and then you see torpedoes. Oh no. Does it say dino? Oh no, bro. What was bro. the number? Dino <laughs> three? Three. Does it say that it's been destroyed? Is it still active? Yeah, Dino th- Dino Three. Well, Dino Three is rebooting after your <laughs> after your security shutdown. <laughs> That's true. It is off right now. It, it's it's coming back online, and the the online. Let me clarify: local network, not full Zillarian network. So I have an idea. Um, so I'm going to see if I can activate a recall code to try to get the Dino units to come back to the prison. So, you, where would you get that information? I don't know. Okay. I'm trying to figure it out. Part yeah. of the security. It's part of the security system. system yeah. So you I'm know what? Basically, just trying to look into the Dino code specifically. With your like, 24, you five. say 25. Um, you find as you're looking around, you find a physical binder on the, on the desk that has like all of <laughs> the really codes. Dusty. Yeah. Dinos for dummies. <laughs> it's 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 every code from when the system was first installed. Um, oh and a lot God. of the like, it's like you you want to reset this code to be you know something. It's oh, like so here, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, well, it's, it's like the manufacturer's code of it, and well, yeah. well, Flux does that. So, yes. Yeah, I'm recalling the Dino units so they come back to the prison because we might need them to leave. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, and I guess we'll just wait eight minutes and see if anyone shows up. Yeah. <laughs> with, with okay, twenty five. I'm gonna give you a lot, um, because that's. That's a lot. You are looking at the security footage. Mm-hmm. Everything, every room. There's you, like a 27, I'm just looking. <laughs> you're just looking, um, but you notice something happen in the delivery bay. Okay, what am I seeing? You see something fall from the chute. Just one thing? Just one thing. Big thing, small thing? People sized. Inside One the uh... person sized thing. Mm-hmm. A single person. Mm-hmm. Alive or dead? <laughs> Are they moving, Brittany? <laughs> uh, a little bit, but not a lot. So you don't know if it's just the, uh, what is it, rigor mortis? <laughs> Settling in or not? <laughs> be the one survivor that escaped the uh, dino sub conflict, I'm betting. That's what I'm thinking it is, yes. Yeah. Um, that being said, can't be too safe. Well, we bugged out of the thing. Have we gotten back to the security room yet? Yeah. I'm, so we're I'm going there. to quickly just make sure that door doesn't open, just in case, <laughs> as oh, I'm the watching deli- the camera. The delivery bay Yeah, door. I don't yes, know who certainly. that is, so I need to make sure it's not, like, some fucking... Can you zoom the camera? I can change... Enhance. I can enhance. change, <laughs> I can change <laughs> the angle, <laughs> but it gets really grainy when I zoom in. For some reason, the enhance makes it grainier. I don't oh. understand. That it's never happens. Uh, so <laughs> uh, you guys are back in the security office now? Yes. Yeah. Right, so you see the camera from the inside of the lab. <laughs> <laughs> it the camera is starting to glitch. Uh, you you see that there are like the the round desks are broken on oh, the ground. Oh, there was a glitch on the camera. And uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's glitching. It, the frame rate is awful. So, question about that thing: Was there anything about that creature's biology or design that looked familiar? Because um, I didn't see it until I looked at the camera and we were in the fight, so I didn't want to ask earlier. Familiar to you? How is it? Does it look like the kind of uh, crimes against God that I'm used to. <laughs> there are no gods in this universe. In this uh, our universe, God. Our, our, our specific God. Well, yes. Um, Whichever one you have at home, by the way. It's not, <laughs> it's not specific. It can be anybody. Anybody. Um, I'm trying to think of how... Because the problem is that there's... I mean, it's definitely some kind of like... Is it some kind of bioengineering? They're trying to create a monster kind of thing. No. Okay, that's what I needed to know. That so I can answer. So diff- different branch. Yes. Okay. Still seems like some kind of weird yeah. super weapon thing. Same same no, sauce. They were, they were taking sauce. nasty monstrous things and trying to turn them into nice peaceful members of the Zalarian Empire. Obviously. <laughs> so does anybody have any objections with the fact that I just locked the doors and let the thing go nuts for a little while? Because I'm I'm deactivating it now, so we should probably just pass out after a moment. Was it necessary to do that? Yes. Because the fact of the matter is, we don't know if there was any other alarm systems in that room or ways that they could have contacted the outside, which would have given us away. Tell yourself that. All right. 
I do tell myself that. <coughs> I don't know. Anyways, the creature is probably passed out again, yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, no harm, no foul. <laughs> a pool of blood escapes from one of the sides. It's in black and white, so it could be water. <laughs> <laughs> a pool of liquid. Could be just like a beaker right. or something. So, uh, so did you tell us about the uh, the the robo report? Thing? Yeah. So I'm about to get to that. <laughs> so, um, we have one red talon, I think, pointing to the screen, who showed up. And the rest. It's not even time yet. I think their torp, their whole sub got torpedoed by one of those dino things. Wasn't that sub our way out? Yes. I did just recall the other dinos here, which theoretically we could possibly repurpose into some sort of aquatic vehicle. Um, but yeah, no, we have four days to figure out how to leave. Oh, we should probably go check on him, by the way. I'm gonna stand up. <laughs> We still need to get the prisoner as well. Right, right. Walking out the door. <laughs> we also left Schmel uh, on the island with the guards. Yeah, the sooner we leave, the better. Right, well, yeah. I'm sure Schmel's going to figure out something to do with them for four days. It's fine. He's resourceful. Going to go to the, the package room. <laughs> Pearl's going to hang back. I said it with so much sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, what happens when this resourcefulness results in the uh, them getting away and informing that? I'm going to be working on it, okay? Right. We need the dino unit to come back first so that we don't try to leave and then get blown up by them. So let's figure this out first. Opening the door. Um, out of the security room? Uh, yeah, well, I'm opening the door to, to the package room. To the so delivery bay, yeah. Cool. Pearl's going to hang back and kind of like <laughs> go up to Hieronymus and be like, really worried about Flux right now. He's being very scary. You might be right. Yeah, yeah, well, just we'll keep an eye on him. Well, what do we do? Just <laughs> Like, she's like, vaguely gestured to the camera that l looks at the lab, and I'm like, <laughs> it's glitching blood everywhere. Yeah. Flashing lights. What do we do? <laughs> yeah. Well, we uh, we kind of knew coming into this that uh, that this might be a little uh, triggering for Flux. Uh, so, uh, you know, we'll just keep an eye on things. <laughs> you right, guys so coming or what? Yeah, we're, we're coming. We're coming. Okay. Pearl in her new face will give you an incredibly worried look and then <laughs> just kind of like, <laughs> like out it's, the it's door. Just <laughs> My favorite emoji. <laughs> the one that's on your pirate flag. Yes. <laughs> so that's my emoji. So yeah, opening up that door, who's uh, who's in here? Are they alive? So you arrive back to the delivery bay. You find um, Fazro, uh, who's petite, bat-like, soft green fur, six eyes, two arms, and two very broken legs. Was this Aww. the person who was like the... This no. is not a red town that we have really communicated okay, with a just, lot before. Okay, you just know that, that it's one of the red towns because you saw all of them. You, right, right. You, some of you may have introduced yourselves. Your so, yeah. name was. Uh, that. she's on the ground, like on the pad, on the pad, like coughing up water. Hey, feel better. <laughs> Healing work. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right. How, how much? Knit her legs back together. How much of that? Set this. I'm gonna kneel down next to her. Does she seem like is she okay? I mean, like besides the broken legs, Don't is she like? the broken legs and the half drowned. Six heel. Okay. Six My heel. question is, okay. is she about to die? That's what I'm asking. How she's close to death? She's she's not. Well, she's seven now. <laughs> Great. Um. So oh. um. This Don't is. One of you this have is. Healing potions? Didn't we talk? We about have coffee. This? <laughs> We're right. feeling good, yeah. too. Um, so I'm going to slowly reach around her and, like, pick her up. I'm going to try to sort of angle it so that I'm not hurting her broken legs. Mm -hmm. Are they broken? Are they broken, like, sh Please don't like ask shins her the or specifics. femurs? <laughs> Upper lower leg? Uh, lower leg. Okay. Lower leg, okay. Um, so I'm going to set her up in a chair. Be like, so I know a little bit about how these things repair, uh, luckily. Um, and so if we let this sit like this, it's not gonna heal right. So I'm going to hand you this, and I'm gonna sort of pull like a wooden spoon out of my bag. <laughs> Bite onto it. 
<laughs> yeah, alright. Uh, this is going to hurt a lot. So, um... Hang on! You're not amputating the leg so you can play with the limb regenerator, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm setting it. Resetting so that, it, so that it's okay. not going to yeah. grow back horribly. Yeah. Um, Which I imagine hurts like uh, the fire of a thousand suns. Yeah. 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 Uh, she passes out. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's like, up. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, is about, that is about I'm going to take some down. various like debris that's around this room because I imagine there's like broken crates and stuff. Um, yeah, there, there's just regular crates. I'll be able to smash some and take yeah. some of the wood yeah, and, sort yeah, of, and, and set it to set make like a splint yeah, yeah. For sure. and like tie some stuff for around sure. it. Yeah. While they do, Cyrus prepares the uh, gun and pops one of the healing cartridges into it and he's like, whenever you have it set. Yeah, I think, uh... Are you gonna shotgun blast this chick's leg? No, it's no. a Zydrate gun. We talked about Syringe this. Gun. I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on. Get better. <laughs> <laughs> when did we get to <laughs> No, it's a Zydrate gun. It's my favorite Oh, wait, we thing. had this whole discussion because yeah. I didn't know what the hell that was. Uh, yes. So before you do anything, I feel like we should at least bring her to the lab and try to repair it using that device. Well, we could, but it's currently full of blood. The no, bay. no, no, the medical bay. You said the lab. Right. Yeah, no, that's going to take a little while to clean out. Yeah. Well, happens. Uh, so we're going to head down the hallway. Um, I'm just going to... Is she light or is she heavy? Cyrus is going to lift her up. <laughs> I'm, she's my patient right now. Oh, so. my God. <laughs> um, but, I mean, if you just do it, I'm Cyrus like... Cyrus just lifts her up. Flux just suddenly cares about people's lives. No, I don't, but I have... You know, we kind of agreed to work with these people. <laughs> Cyrus is gonna see oh Flux try, and then Cyrus just lifts. Uh, I don't know how much you can lift, but she's 125 pounds. It's not that heavy, but still, I'll, I, Cyrus would be better at it. Yeah, yeah. Cyrus is okay. Let's uh, let's head down to the uh, the medical bay. Right. Okay. 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 Yeah, so we're heading over that direction, and we're gonna see if we can get her fixed up with that machine, if sure. at all possible. Okay. Um, you go back to the medical bay. Um, uh, did you finish doing the stuff with the dinos, or is that something you still got to do? It's a uh, recall. It's a, it's a recall, they'll so help. they'll be um they'll be swimming back over this direction. Okay. Yeah, it, I they didn't move super fast when we were fighting against one, but they mm. at least shouldn't be out there. So if anybody else is alive, they at least won't get torpedoed. Hopefully. Okay. Pearl is visibly uncomfortable. <laughs> this went pretty bad, huh? <sighs> Let's go. Especially I've for those scientists. Worse, but... Right, well, you know, they were kind of doing fucked up things to that thing, whatever it was. Yeah. We don't quite know what they were doing. Well, we can assume it was fucked up things. As far as I could tell, was. it was some sort of experimentation to make that thing stronger. Probably something that they would drop on a planet. Probably hurt a lot of people. Yeah. May we continue? It did look like uh, experimentation. For sure. Yeah, because, you know, we know these things. Mm. So... Uh, let's use that medical... Uh, I'm, can we, is it something where you can, like, put her into it and it kind of, like, rebuilds stuff? Or is it, like, it just prints out stuff to give to you, okay? And none of us are surgeons. So there's probably some things I can get from it. No, but you're, you can go to a sterile environment. Yeah, it's at, least a, it's at least, like, a... yeah. To try to do other kinds of healing. I'll lay her down on one of the beds if yeah. there's one around. Yeah. Or at least, like, a table. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she... She comes to, um, just real, real messed up. How are you feeling? Bad. Yeah, that's sort of to be expected. Both of your legs are broken. Um, yeah. You almost drowned. And as far as I can tell, <laughs> uh, everybody else is... I don't know. I don't, I don't, it's, it was all happening so fast. Um, right. Yeah, we, we didn't know there's more than one. Right. Yeah, we didn't know either. So, um, <laughs> how, how are we uh, getting out of here? Right, well, you are sort of our way out. Fuck. Is it safe to assume that no one else made it? I, I don't know. I managed to get in, but I don't, I don't know. I have a plan. It's not a great one, but I have a plan. We have four days. I think I probably have enough time to at least try to create out of whatever they have lying around some sort of rebreather, which would at least give us the ability to escape, not everyone else. 
We still need a vehicle of some sort. Right. Well, that was literally the... The, the rebreather thing was literally the worst possible <laughs> option. I was hoping, perhaps, if I could recall the dino units, that I could repurpose them into at least some sort of airtight container, and then it would be able to swim us out. Because they're currently coming back, by the way. Great. Yep. Um, how are we getting the captain? Right, so that was another part of the plan that you were supposed to be part of. Unfortunately, you know, things don't always work out. Uh, so we're going to work on that. We have a little bit of time. Okay. I mean, the captain knows you, right? Yes. All right, so we go into the thing, the, 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 the security oh, is shut down, the right? the turrets are off, yeah. Yeah, so if the mm -hmm. turrets are off, we so go in there. it should be fine for us to so just walk in and get them. Yeah. Theoretically. Right. In, in theory. Right. We, we have to get the captain... Please, I need you to see why. Um, she holds up an arm with an interface device, kind of like what Flux has typically mm. on his arm. Um, it's got a pause broadcast on it. And she plays the video for you. You see a young Namulan informing the galaxy's citizens of the beginning of the revolution. The Namulan affiliates the revolution with the pirates, revealing information about Zalarian deception, calling for the citizens to think about what separates them from the Zalarians deemed to be other. Pearl? Pearl sees this, right? Pearl snatches her arm. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ha! What are you doing? Ow! That's Delilah. What? Delilah! Whoa, all right. Do De you... Delilah... Delilah who? My Delilah. And you can see, I don't know if Pearl can cry, but she would if she can. Yeah, I don't think I would have given you that ability. <laughs> but she she had like the look in her eye is like she's very pained right now. You so mentioned the, so her... the little girl that uh, that you were the nanny for. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, she seems like she's doing well. Yeah, you raised yeah. that kid right. Yeah, she's fighting the good fight, you know. Pearl's like not even listening to you guys. I she's like trying you. to scan the background <laughs> to see if she can like figure out where she is. Yeah. It's very similar to how the uh, typical pirate suit broadcast where they have a set, mm -hmm. where they have something behind right. them to not give away their location. Wait, shit. Are we part of the revolution now? I don't... Have we been pulled into this? I... I don't understand. She... She doesn't look like a pirate. Well, I mean, to be fair, if this is beyond just the pirates, it seems like we might be roped into a bigger thing. I mean, I... I I have talked to revolutionaries before. I mean, we, we all met Magella. He's one of them. This They're... is too dangerous for her. Right, because she's just a little a... girl. Because there's a really safe place under the Zalarians. She's probably doing what's best for her, better future, you know. Whoa. You okay? Her eyes are red. Right. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Make sure she's all right. Gotta she go. still doesn't let go of her I know. Arm. It's like arm is still <laughs> she's, like. She's gotta like, go look around the like prison. Like rewinding it, yeah. trying to like It's a good see. thing she didn't have that thing on her leg. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm going to go look around the prison, see if I can't find anything, and then probably check out the prisoners. Uh, Cyrus, why don't, you, uh, why don't you go with uh, Flux and, and see what the situation is, getting the prisoners out. Uh, I'll stay here with, uh, with Pearl and, uh, and our friend. Right, okay. I'm going to go off with. Right. Do the thing we leave and make sure to close the door behind <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, so Pearl. This is kind of a good thing, though, right? Because you've been looking for this little girl. You didn't know where she was. And now... Now she's broadcasted speaking against the most dangerous thing out there. Yeah. And I, don't, I still don't know where she is. But we know that we can look for her now. I was already looking for her. Yeah, but now we know she's tied in with the revolutionaries. And we know some revolutionaries. We dropped them off an engineer. And we might be able to backtrack from there. So let's look on the good side of this. First of all, your kid's doing good. Second of all, we might actually now have a way to look for her. You got oh, this, Pearl. You Pearl got will this. let go of her arm. <laughs> Give her, her arm back. Yeah. 
That's the difference between your charisma and mine. <laughs> 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 um, and Pearl would kind of like, and when she opens her eyes again, they would be uh, brown. Just like, that's like her default. It's just like yeah. a nice brown color. They don't look like they're going to shoot lasers at anybody anymore? No. <laughs> um, and she would look to our little bat friend and be yeah. like, I apologize. That's very out of character for me. I don't know your character. It's okay. Would you like a snack? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'm going to throw up. So, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Like on, the, on the legs. <laughs> on the legs. I can I can be gentle. I'm yeah. made to handle baby. Not the way you were moving. <laughs> I know. That's because I'm funny. <laughs> um, okay. I think that's where I'm gonna leave us because Ooh. we've got a split party here, and okay. we've got the end of the stream. The tensions are rising. The tensions they sure are as fuck rising. are. Yeah. Um, and. I think that's going to be it. So we're going to wrap this up. Thank you for oh watching boy. Health Hits Experience. Ooh. Today's adventure brought to you by myself and Colorado Brown. Music and sound effects provided by Sirenscape and our very own lovely Liz. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to Molly Cook. Alex Giamo Gonzalez, Marianne Allen, and Brian Bowersox in the control room. Special thanks to Community Access Media for the use of their facilities and equipment. And join us next week, who before there's a break. Here we go. See you <laughs> later. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>